Hey y'all, welcome. This is gonna be a different style of video because in this video I will be featuring my entire luxury collection and we're going to purge everything together basically. So what it is, I have a lot of stuff, sorry. I'm like, I see people mean when they're like out of breath when they're pregnant. This definitely happened to me now. I'm nearing the end of my second trimester and I, oh, like I literally just walk and I'm like breathing so hard. Anyway, I'm purging my closet because there are some things I want to add to my collection and it's not smart to continue just adding and not getting rid of things. So that's what we're gonna do together today in this video. I'm gonna start with my bags. I'm gonna start up high because that's kind of where I am. And I actually need to move it higher because I have a shelf higher than what you see now. So give me one second. Okay, so maybe you can see that now. Looks like you can. Sorry, I look short. I'm not short by the way, just saying. Anyway, I'm going to start with Chanel, I have my stick here. I could use a step ladder, but I don't want to do that on camera because people are going to try to come for me probably talking about, oh, you pregnant, you can't use a step ladder. If I'm careful, okay. Anyway, I'm going to start with Chanel because that's what we have at the top here. So with these three, I'm really not ready to get rid of yet. So basically, I'm going to go through everything and tell you if I'm considering getting rid of it, if I'm going to get rid of it. I kind of have an idea of a few things I'm going to get rid of. I'm not going to get rid of none of these three at this point. I was considering my classic flap, but I still feel like it's a little too early to make that decision, so I'm going to leave it. However, on the next row here, sorry, both of my dogs are in here today, my little sons. I am considering this one, this violet bag. I complained to y'all in the past, I just feel like it's too big for me, for my style. This is the perfect size 19, which is the small medium. The medium large is a bit too big. And I'm considering getting rid of this because it's quite similar to my Fendi mini baguette as far as color. Yes, it's a different fabric. It's slightly lighter and everything, and obviously it should know, but I don't know. Let me take it down and look at it and feel it. I might have to move or get out in a few seconds because my pool guys here. Oh, y'all can't even see it. <laughs> I told it way up for y'all to see. I don't know, man. Maybe this is another one of those bags I should kind of wait on, I guess. I don't know. My husband really likes this bag. His opinion does matter. Less than mine, but it matters still. I think I'm gonna hold on to it for now, but it's kind of on my chopping block a little bit, so we'll put it back for now. I really hope this gate is open so I do not have to stop talking. But let me just check the camera and see if it's open. Pray to God it is. I don't feel like going downstairs. I'm already out of breath. It's not in the backyard yet. That's not promising. I'm gonna try to wait. I just hate to start and then he rings the door. See, he's ringing the doorbell now. Glad I didn't start my next point. Give me one second. Oh my God, I'm about to die. <laughs> I told y'all. Moving on. Eventually, I'm gonna have to go back to the top shelf because I have another row way over there. But I'm gonna continue with this row now. Up there, I have my Christian Louboutin backpack and then I have my only two Prada bag. I'm not interested in selling any of these right now, so those are good to go. Now I can move to this row. Moschino and Dior. I'm not interested in selling my Moschino bag. I still really like it. I was considering it slightly at one point, but now I realize I really love that bag. It's unique. I don't have anything like it in my collection. Also, it was super cheap. So that means there's no way I will get anything close to what I paid. And I only paid like 400 bucks. So it's really not that bad. However, well not this one, hell no. I'm not selling my camouflage saddlebag. However, my 30 mom tongue. I really loved this bag when I bought it. I really did. But I just feel like it's kind of a bit classic for my style now. Well, it was at first too. I just kind of dressed it way down. But I feel like somebody could really enjoy this bag more than I have been. I rarely wear this. It's so unique. I love it. I think I can part with this. I think. So I'm going to take it down and put it in a pile. And then I'm going to go back through the pile and discuss it again with y'all. I don't want to make any quick rash decisions, but I do kind of want to reduce my stuff basically. Now I move on to this row. So this row here, I'm gonna start there and just go down. I have Burberry, I have belts. I'm not selling any of my belts. The only one I sold was a white Gucci belt last year. Wasn't wearing it, didn't really go with many of my looks. I don't really look for a white belt when I wear clothes. So it was a stupid purchase to be honest with you. Also not interested in selling these. This is also Burberry and it's my bum bag I just got. I love all three of these. They're not going anywhere. <sighs> And likewise, here are my Fendi bags. The only three I have. Oh, well, I actually have four. Can you see that one? Yeah, y'all can. I have four. I'm not selling my Peekaboo. I'm not selling my Midi Baguette, my Baguette, or my Con One. I'm also not selling my, oh my gosh, what do you call these? <laughs> Nano Baguette. I have one other one somewhere. I wore it someplace. I'll have to find it. I actually need to find it because I don't know what the hell it is. Anyway, we're going to move on to, wait, sorry. I'm not used to doing a video like this. I have two Celine bags. Also not interested in getting rid of either of those. I really love both of these. Moving on back to this side, my Jacquemus bag. Not interested in selling any of those. So good to go on those. 
I'm gonna now move on to the lower rows and then we'll move on to the final shelving space where I have my bags. I really hope that doesn't topple over. It shouldn't. Sorry, y'all have to see me from this angle, but I have to show you the two shelves. And by the way, look at my 25 week bump. Growing nicely, right? I'm excited. So underneath here, we have all Balenciaga bags. Your girl not selling none of these. None, none, and none. Moving on to this side. I have three Bottega bags. One is actually up above. You'll see it when I get to that side of the room. I'm not selling either one of these as well. However, the shelf above, little Miss Chloe, my only Chloe bag here. I think I'm gonna get rid of her. The only reason I kept this is because I want to give it to my daughter. And I spoke this into existence. Y'all may remember me saying this in a couple of videos that I wanted to save this for my daughter. I just spoke a daughter. I had no idea I was gonna have one first, but God planned it that way for me. I thought that I would give it to my daughter. It would be nice to do that but I I don't know it's not really a pass me down bag in my opinion I mean it's still really nice don't get me wrong it doesn't hold retail value I guess a resale value anything like that it's Chloe so I would much rather pass down a Chanel bag or Hermes <laughs> that's like a long way off because I don't even have one myself <laughs> but I don't know I feel like I could find her something else even this biker bag if she has an edgy style like me which I hope but I'll embrace whatever style she has if she's super feminine go for it sis I'm gonna get rid of this one because I haven't worn it in the past year and it's just honestly stupid for me to continue to hold on to it just collecting dust on my shelf when I could put that money elsewhere all right Let's move on to our last row over here. So this is gonna be kind of at a weird angle <laughs> at first, I apologize. Cause I have a shelf right there and there's no way I can put it directly in the middle. Moving right along, this top shelf. I love all three of those bags. Miss Lil Givenchy on her own right here. She's not going anywhere. Little Miss Gucci, hell no, is my first bag, absolutely not. I did say I was gonna take it in for repair or switch it out for a new one. I think I'm gonna take it in for repair because I, it's my first designer bag, you know? So I really like it. It's kind of gotten saggy a little bit, so I do need to take it in for repair. However, Little Miss bag in the middle here, let's see. Okay, sis, I love you. I loved you for a long, long time. What do y'all think? If I keep this, it might need to be repaired as far as the hardware. What I love about this, I loved the mixed leather. I love that. I love the gold hardware. I love the canvas. I can't think of anything I don't like about it. But first, let me compare it to other bags I have to see if another bag that I have can fill the void, I guess. So this is basically what we're left with. I have Little Miss Burberry here. That's kind of similar, but of course the canvas is different, obviously. That's really it. I'm not how structured it is. I think I'm going to put this one to the side for now. I really don't want to sell that though. It's not available. If I ever change my mind, oh, I have to get a second hand. We're going to think about it. Moving on to Miss Saleron. I don't know what bag is missing right there. What the hell? Did I just have two bags right there? That's weird. Maybe I did. Maybe I sold the Lulu. Oh, no, wait, yeah. Maybe I sold the Lulu and I forgot to move it back over. Okay. Yeah, because I don't have any more Salomon bags. I only have four now. I have five. Neither one of these are going anywhere. This one isn't going anywhere. However, there is another mini Cassandra bag available now. The top handle. And also, I don't think it will require nearly as much maintenance. I'm going to quickly look at it. And when I find it, I will insert a picture on the screen so you see what I'm talking about. Y'all know I'm semi-pissed about that little spot that I have on the back of here. I'll show y'all. The cap hands is completely removed, like went away. What I was saying, I'm gonna try to multitask here. Oh wow, it's on fashion phone for 1895, 1620. Excellent condition. I see why y'all was trying to put me on second hand because the retail price for this bag is $24.90. However, excellent condition one is currently $17.20. Anyway, I'm gonna get one off the website just so it could be a fresh picture. You can see exactly what the bag looks like. This also has calf skin, but it was since also sell for $19.92. Brand new. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna insert this picture on here. I did not expect that. So on forward is on sale for $19.92. $2,000 essentially. I'll be starting over with another mini Cassandra. Yes, it's different. It has a top handle. I feel like it will work with my style. Sorry, I'm trying to take some screenshot while I'm talking to y'all and putting the video. I'll be starting over so I can take better care of my bag since I can't get it repaired. This is, this really irritates me. Even though it's on the back, I feel like this bag will work better for me, the newer version. It has a top handle. It has structure. And also I love the fact that there is no divider down the middle. If you look at this Cassandra, that I have now, there's a divider in the middle that's in the way it blocks you from being able to put stuff in here. Let me quickly check these measurements. Eight inches wide. I like to use my finger for reference. That's three, that's six. So it's about the same across. And then six inch tall, basically the same. I think I'm gonna sell this one for sure. Let me take the strap out and then get the new one. Cause I like the newer version anyway. It's a bit more, not all the way dressed down. It's a little less classic than this. And then I love the leather strap. I don't really like a chain strap. So there's so many more things I love about that one compared to this one. I've had this for a few years, probably four years at this point. I don't feel so bad. I got a lot of wear out of it. My Saint Laurent is getting a little lonely. That's okay though. 
We're gonna move on to Miss Louie down here. It's my biggest section. Here we have some mini pochettes, which I'm not interested in selling any of those. My Nano Speedy, no ma'am. My Multi Pochette, no. My Palm Springs Mini, I am not. And my uh, Vosera. I had no idea they discontinued that bag. But I'm not selling it because of the fact I'm considering selling my Gucci padlock. Supreme, which that's kind of similar to, even though that has a lighter canvas on it. Next row, my Pochette Cousin. No. My Vanity PM, absolutely not. This, absolutely not, which is my, oh my gosh, what is that called? Something BB. What is it? Oh my God. I'm sorry. I can't think. If I could think of it, I'm gonna put it on the screen, which I'll be able to look it up later. Pregnancy brain, I can't think. All my BB. Mm -mm. Not selling it. Also, these bottom two Valentino bags, I'm also not selling. So, in total, we have four bags to possibly be sold. I'm gonna move these and I'm gonna hang the ones I'm considering selling just so we can look at them together and talk. Oh, you can't be right by my feet, buddy. Okay, so these are the four I am considering getting rid of. This one's definitely going. This is my Chloe. So, I'm gonna put this back over here. I'm just keeping it for all the wrong reasons. Although, I really should keep it because with my daughter's first bag, I do want it to be something cheap just to see if she keep track of it. But I could still do that with something else. I could get her, I don't know, Michael Kors or Kate Spade. That would be a great choice. I love Kate Spade. She might be a little too young for Brahmin at her age because she'll probably get her first bag, I don't know, when she's a teenager or something. Like 16, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I have this 30 Montan. I think this needs to go. Because I'm not really a fan of the super boxy structure, like squared like this. I'm really not. And I don't get much use out of this bag. It's kind of just a collectible, which I feel is kind of foolish for bags. If I spend money on it, I need to use it. So we're going to put that over there to sell. My Gucci padlock. Oh my gosh. I have some memories with this too. One of my other first designer bags. Let me open her up and see. I don't think I'm ready to get rid of this yet. And I think that's okay. This I'm definitely selling my Cassandra because there's another better option that I like. Plus, I want to start over from scratch. I want to take care of my calf skin hair and not have this happen. Not have scratches on it because they say they can't repair it. Even, you know, for the simple fact that the bag is on sale. That's even better. And it's super cheap on. Not super cheap, but it's cheaper on the secondhand market. So, yeah. So, we're officially done with bags. I'm going to move this back over because I like stuff to be even. Let me fix this bag back. This is going to irritate one lonely Dior bag now. It's okay. So we are done with bags, sis. I think we're doing pretty good. So I have three total. Also, I forgot to mention I have this Burberry backpack. This will be my baby bag. I know it's not traditional, but does anything look traditional about me? Like, let's be honest. So I did not want a baby bag on the shoulder. It's just not me. I don't want to be that type of mom. I want to be a cool mom, hip, an edgy mom, you know? And I think this backpack is perfect. It's padded, actually built in with a changing pad somewhere in here. I think it's in the pocket of some sort. It's adorable. It can hold a lot. Probably gonna get like some type of organizer for it. If y'all do want to review on this, let me know. I didn't show it just because it's so bulky. I don't have it on the shelf for that reason. Because I plan on, you know, carrying it around with me with baby. Just let me know if you want to review on that. Now we're gonna move on to designer sneakers. I don't have many. Y'all know this. I did my designer sneaker collection. Y'all want to see it? Link below. Also link to my bag collection below, even though some things have been sold and bought since then. For the most part, it's up to date. Balenciaga Triple S, I'm not interested in selling any of these. I love this nude color and I love this blue color. Next row, I have all of these, more Triple S sneakers. I love all my Triple S sneakers, but I will tell you, this blue is the hardest to style. I don't know all of the, the Balenciaga Triple S sneakers I have. I don't wear them that often. When I'm wearing an all neutral look and I want to pop a color, I do not go for these. And ironically, when I did wear these, I styled them with that 30 Montong tie-dye bag that I showed y'all earlier. So I'm selling that. So now it's like, do I really need to keep the shoes? And I don't think I do. So I'm going to put this in my cell pile. Still in great condition. I take good care. Sorry. They're gonna both start barking. I take good care of all of my sneakers and shoes in general, so that's why they look practically new, but they have been worn, as you can see. Very few times, but they've been worn. If y'all have any recommendations on where I can sell sneakers, Fashion File really doesn't give you that much for shoes. Just let me know. Miss Chloe's not going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. I love these. These are my Balade lace sneakers. I love these. I have the papers still stuffed in there just to keep them stuffed and nice and poofy. Next row. I have not shown y'all these. These are the new Defender sneakers. I got them in this nudish color. Not quite nude for me, but nude. They're so edgy. They're so me. Oh my gosh. The black ones were nice too. Look at these. 
and I'm not selling them. Alexander McQueen, <laughs> absolutely not. It's so weird because I heard guys say how uncomfortable these are. And I must say, I have not had that experience. Maybe it's because I sized up to a 41, I believe. Yeah, these are 41, I'm typically a 40. I was like, they're telling me these are uncomfortable. Also, these are Italian shoes. I would be stupid to get a 40 in these. I need room, I need room for socks, you know? So that's why I got a 41 and they fit perfectly. I actually wore these on a trip the entire week, walking around and everything, no problems. I love the glitter and everything. I love them and I want another pair. And they're affordable compared to like Balenciaga sneakers. I think McQueen sneakers are like 500-ish dollars compared to Balenciaga which run in the nines and the thousands. So definitely not selling these. Again, I'm so sorry I'm out of breath. <sighs> I love these triple S sneakers. I love this color, these lavender ones. I love my Fendi Rococo knit sneakers. If you see any of these y'all want a specific review on, let me know anything else too that I haven't done. If I have done it, I'll direct you to it. Let's move to the bottom now. Now we're on this show. So I have my Prada Creepers, which we are not selling by the way. I love these. They're so me. I mean, y'all shouldn't have to ask about this color. Hell no, I'm not about to sell them. No ma'am. I have the white ones. They're kind of like a white and bronze black color. I love that. I really love that. Definitely not selling them. I have my classic black ones. No man. I have them in full burgundy. Nope. And then I have one of my favorite colors in the world. Orange. And no man. We're not selling them. Hey Dip. You want to see my subscribers? Look, I don't think I've ever introduced y'all formally. So I did show him on my community page. He's actually looking at the camera. I want to cry. He's probably not, but I showed him on my community page. Basically we rescued him. This is going to be brief. You okay? He's breathing hard too. Anyway, I mean we rescued him. He's been living you know, house to house, basically outside in this neighborhood. Nobody claimed him. We went house to house and nobody knew who he was. They would just feed him randomly. He would sleep outside. It's kind of sad. And my husband told me about him. He was the one who recognized him because he frequents that neighborhood a lot. For his job, he showed me a picture of him. I think he might have FaceTimed me or something. And I was like, we got to go get him. We got to go get him. We got to rescue him. Make sure he's all good and everything. And we've been wanting a companion for Tyson as well, who's our other Shih Tzu. He's a Shih Tzu mix as well. He's mixed with Schnauzer. He's getting bored. <laughs> Sorry. He's mixed with Schnauzer and Poodle, I believe. That's their difference. Tyson is also a rescue Shih Tzu mix. So we're super glad we're able to rescue another one rather than buy, you know, one from a pound or something. Not a pound, but like a breeder. So, right? You happy? You happy in your new home? Ooh. So yeah, we're gonna let him go now because he gonna start barking soon. I'm gonna move on to SLGs. For that, I don't need this. I can just hold this up. I did do an SLG collection video, link below. Hopefully I remember to link all this stuff. If not, call me out, I'll link it. Gonna start with this one. This complements my 30 Montan bag. And I feel like honestly, because I'm getting rid of that, I really don't need this anymore. Also, I typically don't carry wallets that are this big. I have small bags, so I try to carry small of a wallet as possible these days. <sighs> I think I'm gonna get rid of this too, to go with that bag. I'm gonna put that to the side. I love my key pouches. I use them as card holders to store cash in, to store keys in as well. However, this Prada key holder, I think I'm gonna sell. I honestly wish, I had to grab this, I had to open the gate for the pool guy. I wish I could sell this one. This is why I don't like getting things monogrammed. I don't think I could sell it with monogram. That's my business initials that I use on here. TBB, the beauty bow. I don't think I could sell it with monogram. So that's a bummer. I'm gonna see, but I doubt it because honestly, I would rather keep the Prada one and get rid of the Louis Vuitton one. I don't have that many keys and I love how this has removable <laughs> keychain. I guess I should talk to him to see if I can sell it. How many keys do I have? Five, yeah. And I would have bought the four key ring had I known a four key holder, had I known they had that option. I thought they just had the six because that's what everybody talks about. I still like this card holder, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna see what that Cassandra looks like in person and then we'll compare it. But I think it's pretty similar and this is all leather too, so that's nice. Love this coin card case from the men's line at Louis Vuitton. We're gonna keep it and it's longer too, but still slim, which is great. I'm not gonna sell my Recto Verso. This Chanel card holder, I think I'm gonna sell. I really don't have a reason. I just been wanting to sell it. <laughs> this Chanel card holder, I think I'm gonna hold on to. Definitely not selling my Balenciaga Hacker Project card holder. I still love this Papier wallet from Balenciaga. One of my ex friends gave me this as a gift. I should get rid of this because we're not friends anymore. <laughs> but I'm not going to because I really love the color. I really love the card holder. And I didn't use my coin for it. I'm not going to talk tea right now, but yeah. Just know it wasn't my fault. Just saying, it really wasn't. I love this Saint Laurent card holder. It also complements the Lou camera bag that I have from them in this color. And I love this gray one. Oh, perfect neutral. Gold hardware against it. Oh, delicious. So in total, I have these Balenciaga triple S sneakers in 
in blue. Getting rid of those. And then I have possibly three if I can sell this one with monogram. But we're definitely gonna sell these for sure. And ask about this. If it's way too low, you know, with the monogram, I'm not selling it. I still might. We'll see. If it's like a hundred dollars they're giving me, hell no, I'm not selling it. But yeah, we did pretty good. There are really no shoes. So as far as shoes, I have two pair. I'll insert pictures that I'm getting rid of to make it easier so I don't have to climb way up there because I don't feel like it. I really don't. I'm gonna sell the Valentino Tango platforms in black. I'm gonna try to sell them. I tried to sell them before, but they offered me like $200. That's absolutely ridiculous for a brand new pair of shoes that I've only worn once, barely. And then I have the Jimmy Choo heels. I forgot what they're called. In the bright pink color, which I've never worn outside of the house. I have those for sale and I haven't gotten what I wanted for those. So I have those back in my possession. I'm gonna try again to get rid of those. I might have to go to a different company other than Fashion Fall because they were ridiculous with their offering last time. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to ready to wear. Let me make sure I have something. I really don't think I have anything I'm trying to sell though. Let me see. Okay, so actually I don't have anything from ready to wear I wanna sell. Sandals, nope. Boots, nope, not at all. I love all my boots. Love all my sandals. I don't have many, but let's move on to jewelry. I love my two Balenciaga bracelets I have here. I'm wearing them today. No, man. However, I have these Cartier rings. Y'all know I'm kind of past one the bigger size. So I'm going to clean these up and sell these. Likewise, I have this Van Cleef Parlay ring. I really love it. I've also gotten to the point where I'm looking at actual fine jewelry brands, like jewelry brands that specialize in fine jewelry, nothing else. I've really been loving pieces. For example, this is a smaller jewelry brand and they don't really specialize in fine jewelry, however, I love this. My manager at my agency actually gave me this necklace when she found out I was pregnant. I believe it's 14 karat gold. I have not taken it off. I've taken it off maybe twice in the past, you know, since January, which has been like four months. When did I tell her I was pregnant? January, February. It's been four months regardless because it's June now. So I haven't taken it off. I love it. Also, I have this anklet that I got from Neiman Marcus. I've been looking on the hunt for an anklet for forever. I got one that was way too thin, way too big. I had to, I don't even know what happened to it, which is bad because it was fine jewelry. It's like 300 bucks. And I didn't really like it. I still needed an anklet. I sold something at Fashion File. Fashion File is within our Neiman Marcus. I got a bracelet actually, and I bought an extender, all gold. I want to insert like footage of me wearing it or whatever, but absolutely love it. It's beautiful. I have not taken that off since I bought it. Not for working out, not for showering, anything. I said that to say, I'm really focused now on fine jewelry. Like I don't really necessarily need Van Cleef. I don't necessarily need Cartier. There's still a bracelet I want from Cartier that Clash de Cartier or something. No, 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 that's not it. The one with the stud, with the, the bolts. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What is it called? Ecru de Cartier. That's the one I want, but I do want a different gold ring. Yes, my husband has a wedding set, but it's in white gold and I still want a gold band of some sort, but I don't have to have anything this pricey. So I'm more than likely gonna sell this as long as I get a decent price for it because it's, like, it's very expensive. Okay, other jewelry. In case you're wondering where I got this little display. I actually got it from Kendra Scott when I worked there. They were about to throw it away. And I was like, hell no, give it to me. I'll take it. And I eventually found use for it. And I still really love it. And it comes in handy for this. My F is for Fendi earrings, not for sale. My Louis Vuitton Louise earrings, also not for sale. My Burberry, TB Thomas Burberry hoops not for sale. My Thomas Burberry studs, not for sale. My off-white studs, not for sale. And then I have this off-white necklace. It's tangled, but you get the gist. Also not for sale. Now I did see that necklace and those earrings on Farfetch. The silver version is on sale right now, but it's not really a priority for me to buy that. So that's why I have it. I also have, be right back. Okay, so what I was trying to show y'all, I have this Gucci Gigi necklace, it's very tiny. You may have seen me wear it before in past videos. I'll insert a picture. That's also not for sale. I don't know where it is, I need to find it. It's hanging up somewhere. I probably need to find that because that was expensive too. Also my Cartier, I still have my um, Just On Clue bracelet, the small, not for sale. I think that's all the designer Zora I have. Yeah, I know it was a long video. I know y'all are like, yeah, you went through everything. Okay, so yeah, that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very different for me, like vlog style, I guess. Let me know if you like this style, the more interactive thing or whatever. Also, oh my God, <laughs> I have this little nano hourglass not for sale i've been wearing the hell out of this i need to stop wearing it. i'm wearing it so much <laughs> but that's also not for sale either i just saw it hanging randomly while i was talking in the video let me know if y'all like this style of video if you have any opinions about anything i'm selling let me know anything i still have left to let me know too about that what you think if you think that bag is not you you need to sell that <laughs> let me know as well 
Y'all know I don't care about constructive criticism and it doesn't bother me. That's what I'm here for. On both ends, I guess. So yeah, I'll leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.